Hey, what's up YouTube? Alien Rides here, and today we've got the Cabo Mantis electric scooter. Now, I get a lot of questions from people buying their very first power scooter, and the main question I get is, should I buy the 010X or the Speedway 5? It was a very difficult question to answer, and now the Cabo Mantis has made that question even harder to answer. So let's check out some details of the scooter, and then we'll go on a little ride and talk about whether you should get the Cabo Mantis, the Speedway 5, or the 010X. Subscribe and let's ride. So here's some close-up shots while we talk about the Cabo Mantis. This particular scooter is on loan from Fluid Freeride, and you can find our affiliate link in the description. If you plan on purchasing one, using the link will help us create more videos like this. The Mantis comes in a variety of configurations, and we're currently looking at the base model. The Pro model has some additional upgrades, and we'll mention those as we discuss the scooter features. Two 60-volt, 1,000-watt motors power this beast of a scooter. It's got plenty of power, and those coming from a commuter scooter, like the Xiaomi or Boosted Rev, would appreciate the performance. Dual disc brakes provide all the stopping power that you would need, and the rear braking lights are a nice touch. The Pro version comes with full hydraulic braking. Along with the rear brake lights, side accent lighting can be turned on by a switch on the handlebar. They look great at night and ensure your scene. Folding the scooter is fairly easy. Just undo the neck clasp, lift up, and the stem should fold down. The handlebar is solid and doesn't fold, but isn't massive, so it's still fairly compact. You can latch the stem to the rear of the scooter to make it easily liftable. At around 60 pounds, the scooter is heavier than most commuter scooters, but quite portable for the performance that it packs. The base model dashboard and throttle is functional, but the Pro version gives you a nicer Mini Motors controller and a larger battery as well. 17.5 amp hours in the base model versus 24 amp hours in the Pro model. In my mind, the increased range and other features make the Pro model worth it if you can swing it financially. The rear footrest is a nice feature and a great place to rest and stabilize your rear foot when riding. The suspension system works well and is reminiscent of the suspension in the Zero 10X. Now let's check out some ride footage while we ride this power scooter around San Francisco. As I said earlier, this scooter would be a great scooter for someone looking to purchase an entry-level power scooter. It would be most comparable to the Zero 10X and between the Dualtron Spider and Speedway 5. Because the scooter is a 60 volt system and has the same amp hour battery as the Zero 10X, you should see slightly more range with the Cabo Mantis. Additionally, the 60 volt Mantis should have more power than the standard 52 volt Zero 10X. There is now a 60 volt 10X on the market though, and I haven't tested that one yet. All in all, the Cabo Mantis is of excellent value and great bang for your buck. That's all we got for now. If you found this episode useful, please consider subscribing for more content like this. Feel free to stay tuned for some additional riding footage around San Francisco and we'll see you all next time.